Whether this is your first time boating or not, welcome to the Georgia DNR Boat Rental Safety Video. I'm Mike Bergamy, and in the next 10 minutes, I'll be giving you some information to help keep you and your pastures safe on your boat. Thanks to legislators and DNR Rangers, our rules on the water make boating safer and more enjoyable for everyone. You should understand, just like driving a car, boating has its own rules of the road to keep you and your fellow boaters safe and out of trouble. Your safety your is our number one priority, and zero accidents for you and all your passengers needs to be your goal as well. We do what we can to provide you boating safety information, but ultimately, your safety and that of your passengers and other watercraft users is up to you. I know you're anxious to get going, so let's get started. If you're not familiar with the term negligent operation, it basically means you're not paying proper attention or acting responsibly while operating your vessel. No matter what kind of boat you're operating, there are important rules you need to follow. These rules are designed to keep you and your passengers safe. Negligent operation of a boat is strictly enforced and is a serious criminal offense. Here are a few examples of negligent operation using excessive speed in the vicinity of other boats or hazardous waters, failing to make sure children under age 13 wear a life jacket on a moving vessel, operating a PWC without wearing a life jacket, allowing passengers to ride on the gunnel or hanging over the bow of a vessel, unsafe ski towing practices, no observer, towing skiers too close to docks or to the shoreline, Boating under the influence of alcohol or drugs. Don't take a chance with this one. If you do, you could be sorry. One third of all boating accidents involve alcohol. It's quite clear drinking and boating just don't mix. The 100 foot law applies to all boats, skiers and personal watercraft, or PWCs as they're sometimes referred to. It is illegal to operate over idle speed within 100 feet of any moored or anchored boat or any boat that is adrift, a dock, pier, or bridge, persons in the water, any shoreline close to a residence, public park, beach, or swimming area, or within the vicinity of a marina, restaurant, or any other public use area. It is also unlawful to follow too closely behind another boat or to change your course to jump the wake of another boat. Statistics show that some form of basic negligence is the primary cause of all reported accidents. As the operator of a boat today, you are responsible to know and follow the rules. If you operate your boat or allow anyone on the boat to act in a negligent fashion, you could face severe penalties. Wearing a life jacket is the single best thing you can do to prevent drowning while boating. Almost two out of every three boating fatalities were drownings. Some were even strong swimmers, and unfortunately, some were children whose parents were negligent. Coast Guard approved life jacket must be on board for every person, and we strongly recommend you wear it at all times while underway. Children under the age of 13 are required to wear a life jacket at all times while on board a moving vessel, unless they're inside a fully enclosed cabin. Make sure all life jackets fit properly and are zipped and clipped before you leave the dock. If you have questions about your life jacket and how it should fit, just ask your boat rental company. Life jackets do not work unless you wear it. So remember to wear it, Georgia. A throwable flotation device must be readily accessible to throw to a distressed person in the water. If there is a fire emergency, first, make sure all passengers are in life jackets and ready to leave the boat. Only then should you attempt to put out a fire. Everyone should know where fire extinguishers are located and how to use them. There are simple navigation rules that will help you avoid collisions with other boats. If another boat is coming at you head on, you should steer to the right or starboard. If you are overtaking or passing another boat, you should pass on the left or port side of that boat. Leave plenty of room and yield to that boat. If you are crossing the path of another boat, you should yield to a boat on the right of your starboard. You should also yield to all boats that are not under power, including sailboats under sail, canoes, and kayaks. You should also stay out of the way of commercial or working boats. Overall, no matter what these rules say, 
If there is ever the threat of a collision, it is your responsibility to slow down, steer away, or stop. Buoys and markers are the traffic signals that guide vessel operators safely along waterways. They also identify dangerous or controlled areas and give directions and information. As a recreational boat or PWC operator, you will need to know the lateral navigation markers and non-lateral markers of the U.S. Aids to Navigation System. Lateral marker aid mark the edge of safe water areas by using a combination of colors and numbers which may appear on either buoys or permanently placed markers. Red colors, red lights, and even numbers mark the edge of the channel on your starboard or right side as you enter from the open sea or head upstream in a river. Green colors, green lights, and odd numbers mark the edge of the channel on your port or left side as you enter from the open sea or head upstream in a river. Remember, red, right, return, going home or upstream. The most common navigation aids are non-lateral markers, which are white and use orange markings and black lettering to provide information to boaters. These markers are found on lakes and rivers and are used to, to give directions and information for food, gas, and marinas, warn of hazards and obstructions like rocks and stumps, mark controlled areas like no wake, idle speed, or no skiing, and mark closed areas like swimming areas and dams. All boats have an awareness zone. The awareness zone includes the front, sides, and rear for 30 feet all around the boat. No passenger should be in this awareness zone until the boat motor is turned off, the boat is stopped moving, and the keys removed. Then count to 10 before entering the water. The propeller can spin for several seconds after the motor is cut off, so that's why we count to 10. Remember, it is greatly negligent and prohibited to allow passengers to sit on the bow, gunnel, stern, or swim platforms while the boat is moving. Pay particular attention to the awareness zone while water skiing or engaging in other water sports, and especially before starting your engine. You must display the proper lights if your boat is to be operated at night or when visibility is poor. Make sure all lights are in good working order before you leave the dock. The rental company can demonstrate the proper operation of the lights on your vessel. If you are renting a personal watercraft, commonly known as a PWC, you are not allowed to operate after sunset. The law is based on time and not visibility. Check the sunset chart before you leave and make sure you turn on your navigation lights or stop riding your PWC at sunset. All boat operators must have a boat registration card on board the vessel while operating. Persons 16 years of age or older may operate any boat on Georgia state waters if he or she has proper identification on board. Proper identification means a driver's license or any other government issued identification that contains a description of the person, a photograph, and a date of birth. By following the simple steps mentioned in this rental safety course and by boating responsibly, you can make sure your boating experience is fun and safe. Do your best to understand the many hazards that exist all around you and act responsibly to avoid them. The more time you spend on the water, the better boater you will become. But no matter how many hours you have behind the wheel, always use your senses, stay alert, and make note of your surroundings every time you start your engine. Your safety is our primary concern, but being safe on the water ultimately depends on you. We also recommend all boaters take a NASBLA approved boater education course. There are fun and exciting opportunities to learn more about boating by taking a United States Coast Guard Auxiliary, U.S. Power Squadron, or a Georgia DNR sponsored boater education course. These provide you one-on-one -on -one instruction, camaraderie, and the ability to take even more advanced boating skills courses. If you don't have the time to take a classroom course, Georgia DNR offers online motor education classes. Visit our website at www.
www.gadnrle.com for more information. Be safe, have fun, and wear it, Georgia.